employees to carry concealed a firearm on campus came up today at the Capitol. However, it was quickly shelved by the bill's author. Apparently, and this shocked a lot of folks, even the ones who were a part of this, the law already existed. It was a revelation that took a lot of folks by surprise, as you'll see in our Chris Rosado story tonight. Yeah, that's right. The law may already exist. However, it opens debate for whether or not it pertains to teachers. Within the blink of an eye, a bill that would authorize schools to designate one or more employees as school protection officers was scrapped. What well, we already right. have it. So no use doing extra laws that they already can do what I wanted to do. Republican Senator Eddie Lambert says even he was surprised to learn the law was already there. My hope was just, you know, to expand it where they could have people other than law enforcement. But they can do that now. They can, you know, a teacher or school employee, if with permission, can carry a weapon really? from where I that's what it says. If anything, his bill would have added more requirements for these employees by requiring those designated to annually show proof of a concealed carry permit and a certificate that shows the minimum peace officer standards and training. And what I'm going to do is do a resolution maybe suggesting that schools look at this, but they already have the law if they want to use it. State Representative Blake Niguez has worked on several pieces of legislation around firearms. I spoke with him today about the specifics. It's my understanding the author pulled the bill from consideration. If you look at the current law, it allows local school districts the ability to hire security officers if that's the normal scope of their employment. Miguez says if the intent of the bill was to allow teachers to have firearms, it could have been worded better. There's been some debate whether teachers are allowed to carry firearms under his um, bill. That's unclear, but under current law, teachers do not have the authority to carry firearms on school campus. The local school districts under the law have the authority to hire security officers if that's their normal course of employment. The question now is if schools are allowed to designate employees to be protection officers, then what's the point of gun-free zones? Current law says that you have gun-free zones uh, to restrict individuals from being able to carry firearms there. Um, there's been some debate whether we should start allowing different individuals like teachers to be able to carry firearms if they have the proper um, certifications, they feel comfortable, the guns are secured. That's a whole debate that we don't see a bill on this session to have, but that's a debate I think the legislature has the appetite to debate at some point. So this was a class A example of how important each word is when writing these bills, especially when it comes to our firearms and protecting kids in school. At the Capitol, I'm Chris Rosado. Back to you.